Hello everyone, <clears throat> if you were paying attention during E3 last week, you know that Nintendo decided to announce that Retro Studios was going to be doing Donkey Kong Country Returns. As such, I felt it would be a very good idea to go into Donkey Kong Country 3, so that way that's out of the way, for when Donkey Kong Country Returns, I can do that one as well. So that's what we're going to be doing, Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. That. Not cool. Anyway, we're going to be doing something here first, before we actually start the game. L R R L R R L R L R. Basically, you enter that, and then you can enter a few extra codes. No, some codes. Toughest, I will get into when we get into the game. This next code is going to be very useful. Wait, too far. Lives! Guess what that does? And this last one, which I will show up when I get the chance to. It, this one won't be relevant for a while, though. Again, too far. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, we can actually, you know, do stuff. P. H. A. R. There. That'll work. Now, I don't actually have control at this particular point in time. If you notice in the background there, she has a Nintendo 64 hooked up, which is interesting considering the Nintendo 64 came out about a week after this game came out, or was released. Um, Rickley Kong handles all the saving. Yeah. As opposed to, um, well, she did in the other game. Anyway, uh, we have a time clock, a percentage meter, DK coin count, uh, bonus coin count, bear coin, which are the silver ones, uh, banana bird, yep, bird may have banana, uh, gears and boxes. Basically, you'll run into all of these things. Right. Now this will be a full percentage playthrough, which because I entered the toughest code will be 105% as opposed to 103 as per normal. Um, Tranky, er, not Tranky, uh, Funky now has a new job. Instead of ferrying you around the uh, island, since we're not on an island anymore, we're in an entire area. Um, he will instead give you vehicles that you can use to get around. So, yeah. Specifically, we start off with a motorboat, which can't go anywhere except for this area right here. Well, and this area up here. Bounty Beach. Well, 
that easy. It is basically just a game of Simon Says. Eat it and you get a banana bird. There are 15 banana birds in total. Um, there are however many bonus things there are. I don't remember off the top of my head. This is Lake Orangutanga. Le Lakeside Limbo. Anyway, now to explain the codes. Uh, with the exception of water, which I will be explaining sometime later, lives gives you 50 lives to start off with. Top list makes it to where the game has very little DK barrels, which is the ones where you get your partner back if they died. And, um, it has no continue barrels, which means if you die, you have to start the level from the very beginning. Yeah. Believe me, this will be very annoying. Because a couple of these levels are actually pretty hard. DK coins make a return. That's how you get them. You have to hit this guy who ha decides to wear a bucket on his head and um, guard himself with a garbage can. I just don't know. Anyway, there are 40 in the game. Um, by collecting all 40, you don't just get a little extra completion thingy. Uh, you actually get something tangible for it. Which is actually pretty, much, pretty fun. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Now, banana! Now, lives. Fifteen bananas! This is a new type of um, bonus area. You collect these underripe green bananas to get the deep kick, er, not the deep kick, bonus point. You have to collect however many it tells you to in a specified time, and if you collect the amount, you can go ahead and miss them, because there's more than the amount it requires, but um, when you get the amount, you can be able to get the coin. This is a new animal buddy, Ellie Ele the Elephant. As you can see, it's a old Y there. Holding Y allows her to pull barrels close to her. As you can see, we're already done with the first level. Very short. Go up here, get some more coins. And, since I don't want to complete this with Kitty. Actually, I didn't talk about Kitty. Kitty is your replacement for Donkey Kong, basically. Um, except he's not nearly as good. He can't ground pound or anything, but he does have some uses, like you saw. And I will show later on. For now. And complete this. As you can see, a little flag replaces the K flag. Um, the colored flag will be pink or blue, depending on who you finish with. Dixie is pink and Kitty blue, respectively. Uh, if it's at, if it's fully flying, that means you've completed all the bonus levels in that particular level. If the yellow flag's flying, that means you collected the DK, the DK coin in the level. Anyway, we will pick this back up next time with Doorstop Dash. I will see.